friends, welcome to another bullet drawing video. Uh, I just want to take a quick second to thank you guys for getting my channel to 100 subscribers. I'm thinking of making some advice videos on how to apply to colleges because I know that I would have wanted some advice while I was applying, but yeah, thank you so much for subscribing, and if you aren't, it's fine too. And let's just get started with the video. Okay, so here's the finished cover page. I based the cover page off of the City Folk um, like cover. I think it's really fun to like think of the other letters in the alphabet that would be with the font, since obviously you could only see um, the Animal Crossing. So, yeah, and then I drew um, KK Slider on the bottom with this little guitar. In my favorite section, I write down my favorite songs of the month or like my favorite TV show. I was kind of procrastinating making this video because usually when I color things in I ruin it so I don't know I kind of like the way it turned out um, also I wanted to show you guys my last cover page because it's just so cute look how cute I drew Koya that's pretty much the mood for the month you should definitely check out these songs. Wow. Amazing. But yeah. So next, I'm going to work on the mini calendar. It's only a half a page and it's like really tiny because we're in quarantine. Like there's nothing really to do each day. So I don't really need a full double page layout. But yeah, we're going to make that next.
here's the final calendar spread. I just have the standard calendar layout with the Sunday starting the week, and then in the empty boxes I drew the fruits, just like the game. I think it would look cute actually if I just did the horizontal lines. I think it would look a lot better, but it's okay. Now going back, <laughs> it's good if you don't have like a lot going on in the month because it's pretty small each box. Next we have the habit tracker on the top, self-care bingo, and the reflections page, which I'll explain later, but I just wanted to say that you could do the habits in two different ways. This one's just like a box and then you have the title in a little speech bubble like they appear in the game. And if your title is um, short enough, you can actually fit it inside like the little bubble here where the, the name would have been and then like the shape of the bubble would be the shape of the month. My titles are just too long for that but I think this is a cute idea to do as well. All right, here is the finished spread. I have the habits up top. You can also color coordinate like the little color at the top with the colors that you fill in uh, inside the box. And I have my reflection page over here and in this red bubble, I will write the date and then my monthly reflection in here. And as for the self-care bingo, I got this idea from another YouTuber and I'll put a link of her video in the description. I just filled it in with things that I do personally to, you know, take a rest. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourself and staying healthy. Um, I also wanted to talk about this app I got called Slowly. And you can like send letters to people all over the world. It's a really cute idea and I really enjoy it. So if you want to add me on that app and write me a letter, feel free. I will write back, don't worry. But yeah, I think that's a really cute idea. In the middle I have the free space, but this would also look cute if you put the like signature logo in that spot too. Okay, so here is the weekly spread that I made. I just wrote May at the top, a uh, little calendar view, I highlighted the week, and I indicated the week of the quarter that I'm in. And I have my notes section uh, here where I would write notes, <laughs> like any highlight of the day or anything that comes to mind, I'll just write here. It has some extra space. And, oh my god, why are they... That is so rude. Okay. It says for the, like, general layout, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. 
but in the top I have just like what event would happen that day or like if I have a test or quiz and then on the bottom section I have an hourly tracker I like could never ever schedule like my day out by the hour so I think of this as just like take the day one hour at a time and see what you do I indicated my classes like the start times of my classes that are live on zoom by the hour and then by now I know like how long they go so like for architecture it goes from six to nine o'clock but some days we end early so I didn't want to fill in the actual box or else I would have to erase it later so I have my hourly tracker on the side this is like yellow red green and blue and then I kind of just like made a tick mark with that same color along the whole week for some reason if I'm over here and I, I just like can't follow the line that easily my brain just like can't handle it so with the colors I can easily see like okay I know which hour it is I think it's really helpful and I, like a whole line would just like look really busy this is one of my weeks all filled in I like to color code also so whenever I'm working on schoolwork I'll write it in black and anything else is blue as for this month because that was like my color theme I think it's a good representation because you can like visually see what your day consisted of like before I had it all black and it was kind of just like super busy but if you have it kind of color coded you can see like okay I worked for like half the day and half the day I took a break all right so here is the final flip through I hope you guys enjoyed it this is definitely one of my favorite like themes that I've done. Um, I actually don't even have a Switch to play the game. So if anyone wants to let me borrow their Switch, that'd be really cool.